Hello guys, and welcome back to my channels, Purse Fanatic and Fashion Fanatic, depending on which one you're watching from. If you love all things purses, you like purses, unboxings, reviews, things of that nature, definitely subscribe to my Purse Fanatic channel. If you like a little bit more than just purses, you like fashion, you like fashion hauls, in addition to purses, definitely subscribe to my Fashion Fanatic channel below. Guys, I'm back again with another unboxing. Now guys, this is a purse um, that I do have the brand of. However, the one that I do have now, the brand um purse is it's it's so small it's so small and unfortunately i'm a big bag person i don't like small bags i fill my bags up i like to put tons of things in it so at first i was not going to sell my other bottega bag because i didn't think i would ever be able to afford another one because they're so expensive but this was a pre-love item they said it was almost like new so i couldn't beat the price and so what i'm going to do is if this bag is everything that I want as far as like the size that I'll probably sell the other one because there's no use in me keep holding on to a bag that I'm not going to use because it's too small. All right, guys. So this is the Bottega pouch bag and I think it's the regular size. I really didn't even pay attention to the dimensions. Um, so I, I'm hoping that's what it is. I have no idea. We'll see. Um, we'll um, measure the, the bag for you. I'm also going to show you what fits in the bag and I'm going to show you how to style the bag as well. All right, guys, so I'm super excited. I did purchase this from Farfetch, and like I said, this is a pre-loved item, but they said it was almost like new, so um, I have high hopes, so we'll see. All right, guys, so um, I got this from Farfetch, like I mentioned. They were very, very quick in um, getting me this item. I think I ordered it maybe like a few days ago, and it was like, boom, it was here. I was like, wow, okay, amazing. So I do like Farfetch because they do have a return policy. It's not the longest time period, but it's something. Sometimes when you buy these purses, a lot of times they say, I mean, like pre-love, they'll say no returns, okay? And I don't like that because I actually wound up buying a Chanel bag and it had all type of um, uh, snags and, and things. Of uh, I think it was like little strings coming out of it and all that stuff. And it really was something I was not supposed to be able to return, but they did let me return it when I told them, no, this is no good. But yeah, so from now on, I'm always going to get a pre-love item from somewhere I can at least return it, even if it is only 10 days or, or, or 14 days. I, I just feel like you never know what you're going to get with these pre-love items. And so you do need to have um, something where you can return it. Okay. I'm so excited, guys. So it did come in the dust bag. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so we're going to see. We're going to see. All right, so let's see here. All right, so this is the beautiful dust bag here. It says Bottega Neta, okay? And let's take a peeky. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, so yes. So we're going to measure this beautiful bag. So guys, I did think that I had ordered a brown bag. I really did. But um, looks like I ordered this in the color moss green. And you know what? I actually like it. It's like it's like a pop of color. Like who is going to actually really like have this color? Not a lot of people. Okay. Brown, very common color black so i did want something that was different so i think even though this is not the color i wanted i think i'm probably gonna still end up keeping it okay so let's do some measurements here guys we're gonna do the bottom measurement of this purse here we're gonna take this here and we're gonna pull it all the way to the side and as you can see this is about uh let's bring it a little bit further down here so we make sure we get all the way to the end of the purse so you can see the length of this beautiful bag. So yeah, so guys, this is the bigger version. This is the biggest one you can get. It's not the teen. It's not the mini. If we go all the way from here to here, we're looking about 14 and a half inches, okay, for the length of this beautiful bag here, okay? All right, so next, guys, let's look at the height of this beauty we're looking at potentially go from here to here. And what are we looking at? Maybe it's a pretty long bag, guys. Look at that. It's like almost nine inches. That's that's a lot. Okay. And then of course the width 
And the width, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit because we wanna make sure we can get the good length here. And I say the, the, the width was about, and this is what they say, they said maybe 4.5. I would say maybe, yep, 4.55, okay? So it's a pretty nice size purse. So it's not a mini, it's not a teen, it's the biggest one, it? but it's not too big. So if you look at it, it's not huge, huge. I thought it was like humongous, but it's not that big. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can get into this bad boy. Look at how spacious that is, guys. That is a, a spacious purse here. Um, there's nothing inside, no frills, no pockets, nothing like that. Just a plain purse. And it has a magnetic closure, as you can hear. And we're going to see what can fit. So this is like a lot. This is more my cup of tea. That's why I'm going to sell the other bag. But this is a pair of glasses, MCM glass case. You can see no problem getting that in there. This is a Samsung phone because I'm using my Apple phone with you guys. And again, um, there's no problem getting that in here as well. As you can see, falls right in there in place. Coach wallet. Look at that. This purse is like so spacious. I think I'm still going to get a, was the insert because I heard that helps to keep the purse from slouching down the line. So I'm going to definitely get that. This is a cologne. It's going to go in there as well. So you see it's, this purse is like, look at that. Never ending. You, you can get so much stuff in here. It's insane. But the question is, do you want to carry all this stuff? Um, this is a lotion. You can get that in there too. So as you can see, this purse is huge. Okay, huge. And so I think the best thing for this is to probably get an insert so that you won't ruin the shape of the purse. See how it's taking the shape of these glasses. So I'm definitely going to get an insert because I don't want my purse to start taking the shape of the items that's in the purse itself. But look at that. Huge. All that stuff in there and you still got all this room. So you can fill it to the T, but you have to understand, even this here is heavy. Like I wouldn't even want to go more than this in here because it's not like you have a strap. That's the only difference. Like with the other pop purses, the teen and the regular, you get a strap. This is no strap. So you have to carry it like this. So who wants to fill it to the T? I wouldn't want to. Okay. So anyway, guys, I'm also going to um, style this here as well. So you can see how it looks. And you would think with a green purse, you're like, oh my God, what am I going to wear this with? But... This is kind of like brown, has a brown undertone. So I believe it's going to go with a lot of things. It's going to go with black. It's going to go with red, brown. It's going to go with everything. And, and what I like about it is nobody is going to have this color except me. All right, I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So I have on this um, cream dress. So you would assume, um, or anybody could assume, cream pretty much would go with any kind of a darker color, right? Because... Um, I mean, you could do cream with a cream uh, purse, but eh, that's too matchy-matchy. So usually, if you have a cream outfit, I think a dark um, purse would definitely go with that. So that's why I chose cream for this green purse here. Like I said, it's a different kind of color. It's a moss green, but as you can see, um, it looks really good with this cream, cream dress. Okay, so this is one way you can style this type of a purse. Uh, and a lot of the Bottega pouches, they come in these, you know, strange eye colors. Of course, they have uh, the basic uh, white or cream. They have the basic uh, caramel or brown. And of course, they have the basic black and you can do that. But you're going to find a lot of these uh, kind of eye colors on the pre-love market. You're going to have a hard time finding those basic colors on the pre-love market. So if you're looking to get one pre-love and not spend as much money, I pay half of you know, what it would cost to buy it new, but yet it was new on pre-love market. This is a kind of a new looking purse. It doesn't have any scratches. It's almost like not been used for half the price. Then you're going to get kind of a, a different sort of a color. So this is a color I feel like would go great with cream. So I'm going to try uh, a couple more things on so you can see how uh, this purse looks with those. All right, guys. So next up is a black, a basic black dress. So of course, you know, any of those colors that Bottega has, if they have a green purse, red purse, whatever, all those are gonna go with a basic black dress, you know, without a doubt. So this is um, the same, okay? So this is green uh, purse, and of course it looks good with um, black. 
And so if you can see here, this is definitely a way to style this Bottega pouch. Okay, so just a hot basic uh, going out evening dress. This is gonna be cute. And it's gonna give that black dress a sort of a pop of color. All right, guys, one last style. And then we're gonna close out. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I have on a, a brown pea coat. Now this is a brand new, I have not even worn it yet. This is from uh, Zara, but you can get this pea coat from anywhere. I think Express sells pea coats, wherever. And you know, I think of the pea coat in like a cream or uh, beige, which is what I have on here uh, with this purse is gonna match pretty well, okay? Because this has a kind of a dark brown undertone, even though it's green, it has like a brownish undertone. So I definitely feel like you can definitely um, wear this purse a lot if you get uh, a regular coat that you wear every day and then you just match it up. And I have this on a white shirt underneath and just some plain old jeans, okay? so. All right, guys, so I hope this video was helpful. You got to see what fits in this pouch. You got to see how to style this particular color. And uh, yeah, so until I see you next time, guys, take care, be healthy, peace.